hello everyone welcome back to another adobe after effects tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how to make these types of golden elegance logo intro in adobe after effects so before starting this tutorial if you are new to my channel then please make sure to subscribe it and like this video now let's get start the video so here you can see that i have already created this animation in adobe after effects and now i'm going to show you how to make this so first let me close this and start with a new project for this tutorial i'm going to use this some photos and this audio file you can download all of them from the link in video description let's drag them to adobe after effects and let's create a new folder with that now let's create a new composition i'm going to rename it to main and i am using 25 frame rate per second but you can use your own frame rates and i am going to choose 20 second duration it will depend on you how long you want your animation then just hit ok after that i am going to drag my logo to the timeline so select the logo and drag onto the timeline and my logo is too big so i am going to adjust it so select the logo press s and let's adjust my logo size now i am going to auto trace it so select this logo go to layer and select auto trace and from here i am going to check this layer apply to new layer then hit ok now it will create a new auto trace layer above all our logo so i am going to delete this logo we don't need this so now select this and i am going to rename it to logo mask after that i can hide it and now let's create another new solid and i'm going to rename it to Elemin 3d and of course we are going to use Elemin 3d plugin for this tutorial so now hit ok now let's this texture and drag into the timeline after that let's select this texture and pre-compose it and rename it to particle texture then select move all attribute into the new composition then hit ok now double click this texture and let's adjust its size or select this then go to effect and preset and search for curves and let's do some change on it okay that's enough now back to the main composition and you can turn off this from here select the element 3d and then go to effect from here select video copyleft then select element after that from the custom layers and then select custom texture map and for layer one select our particle texture from here then close it and select custom text and mask for path one we are going to select our logo mask then just click on the scene setup so it will open our 11 3d interface and from here we can turn off the grid then just click on extrude so you can see our 3d logo is here now select this and you can make it to four and don't forget to change its path resolution to extreme now go to presets and from the physics let's apply black gloss to this after that double click and rename it to black now again click on extrude and change path resolution to extreme let's select this and let's increase the bevel size to one or maybe two now check on this bevel backside and change bevel curve to minus one and bevel segment 32 and maybe bevel depth 2 so you will find something like this now let's apply a silver texture here so go to procedure and i'm going to select metal and from here i'm going to apply this Now you can select this and let's do some changes on UV mapping. Let's make it 10 by 10 and rename it to silver. After that, let's create another extrude. 
and select this make bevel depth or bevel size 1.5 and extrude also 1.5 then go to physics and let's apply this gold texture to this now double click and rename it to gold hit ok now let's create another texture now for this let's drag into above all of them and let's make this extra to zero okay after that select this go to texture and from here select diffuse select our particle texture map hit ok for glossiness also select this for illumination also select this and for normal bump select this and make it minus 50 then hit ok so after that you will find something like this now from the single light change it to cinema then let's create a new plane and i'm going to change its size to 80 by 80 then go to orientation and change it to negative 90 after that go to materials or go to procedure then from metal you can apply any of this texture i'm going to use this then go to uv mapping and i'm going to do some change on it so i think this is okay for that now let's zoom it and let's adjust it a little bit now rename it to particle and also rename it to floor now select this and right click on your mouse and change reflection mode to mirror surface after that select this then go to matte shadow turn on this and turn on matte reflection so now you can find something like this then just click on ok so this is our logo now let's create a new camera i'm going to use 24 millimeter camera then hit ok now select the camera and let's drag it and zoom out now let's animate this so i'm going to select this camera press p and shift a now let's change its direction to something like this select this element 3d then go to render setting from here select the lighting and change it to dramatic and from the ambient occlusion turn on it and change radius to 5 and this sorry make it 10 and make intensity 5 now drag this camera to something like this point create a keyframe go to around 4 second and let's drag this to something like this point after that press alt and press right bracket key on your keyboard to cut this camera at this point and let's create another new camera or you can simply duplicate this by pressing ctrl d press u and delete all of this keyframe from here and let's drag it to at this point and let's change its position create a keyframe on it back to something like this point drag this camera to here and let's zoom it little bit change this to something like this So you need to create three or four camera movement 
to make this kind of animation i'm going to skip this step and now let me show the next process so next process is you need to duplicate this element 3d and select this then you need to go output from here you need to change composite to illumination after that you need to apply a glow so go to effect and preset and search for glow apply it and from here change this glow radius to 200 glow intensity 2 and after that you can change this blending mode to screen or you can change it to add now you need to add some depth of field on this camera so select this camera go to camera options from here turn on the depth of field and change the aperture to 15 blur level 200 and let's change camera focus distance also do change this for this camera now for the last camera movement you can create another new camera and i'm going to cut it at this point now press p get the keyframe on position then go to this point and let's zoom this so zoom it until you can see this so our camera animation is done now let's create a new adjustment layer and now rename it to curves now select this go to effect and preset and search for curves apply it now let's do some change okay you can also change the red or the green but i think this is okay for now i'm just showing you the process how to make this but i hope you can make a better animation by using this process so now let's create another new composition and i'm going to rename it to render hit ok now go to project window and select this main composition drag it to the timeline and for now let's create another new solid and we are going to use it and we are going to rename it to cinematic bar now let's create this rectangular tool double click on it and from here turn on title save and action now double click this area let's drag it to this point and drag this to this point after that just change this mode to subtract or you can just simply invert this now let's back to at the beginning of this composition select the main form press p to open opacity create a keyframe go forward around 5 frame and create a keyframe back to the first keyframe make the first keyframe to 0 now we'll get a fade in effect now let's go to around 12 second or something like this point let's drag this to here and let's trim to comp area now press t again to create opacity and make it to 18 or 20 back to this point and make it 100 percent let's back to main and go to layer and create a new solid rename it to flare drag to below this curve go to effect and preset and search for optical flares then click on the option after that clear all of them select this glow hit ok drag this to this point change this to transparent and change the color to something like this drag this to something like this point and you can decrease its opacity something like 80 percent on 70 percent then go to at the beginning of camera 3 
select this layer and let's press alt and left bracket key to cut this at this point press t create a keyframe on it forward few frames and make another keyframe back to the first keyframe and let's change this to zero now back to the render composition we will find something like this you can adjust its opacity anytime from here let's replace its brightness to 70 percent so i think this is good now let's drag the music to timeline so our animation is complete now let's see the preview So this is how you can make a golden elegance logo reveal in Adobe After Effects. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video. So thank you so much for watching. I will be back with new video soon. Till then take care.